Russian President Vladimir Putin is reported to have overseen recent military drills simulating a nuclear strike. News.com has learned that the exercise, which involved multiple practice launches of ballistic and cruise missiles, was carried out in the wake of Russia's abandonment of the Global Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. According to Fox News, the simulation included a Yars intercontinental ballistic missile being fired from a test site, a ballistic missile launched from a nuclear-powered submarine, and air-launched cruise missiles fired by two 95MS long-range bombers. The exercise was overseen by Putin himself, who via video call communicated his directions to top military officials. Russia's defense ministry published video footage of the drills, showing the launch of missiles and bomber aircraft and in way of an explanation for the operation, the Kremlin said, practical launches of ballistic and cruise missiles took place during the training. In the course of the events, the level of preparedness of the military command authorities and the skills of the senior and operational staff in organizing subordinate troops, forces, were tested. The autocracy's seat of power then indicated that it deemed the mock run successful. Their statement continued, the tasks planned in the course of the training exercise were fully accomplished. The purpose of these drills, according to Russia's Minister of Defense Sergei Shoigu, is to practice delivering a massive retaliatory nuclear strike in response to an enemy's nuclear attack. This action comes after Russia's decision to revoke the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, a decision that appears to be the result of a vote in the Russian Duma. The vote, however, follows Putin saying that the motion would place Russia's nuclear policies on par with that of the United States. The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty CTBT, adopted in 1996, bans all nuclear explosions worldwide, but it has not been fully implemented by several countries, including the US, China, India, Pakistan, North Korea, Israel, Iran, and Egypt. As such, there are concerns that Russia's revocation of the treaty could lead to the resumption of nuclear tests not only by them but by other countries too. Be that as it may, Russia claims that it does not plan to abandon a 1992 moratorium on nuclear test blasts but noted that this decision was conditional upon the U.S.'s nuclear conduct. Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov states that Moscow will continue to adhere to the ban and will only resume nuclear tests if the U.S. does so first. Ryabkov also mentioned that the U.S. had reached out to Russia to talk about strategic stability in arms control issues since its decision to abandon the treaty, per Fox, but noted that Putin's administration had turned them down. We aren't ready for it because the return to a dialogue on strategic stability, as it was conducted in the past is impossible until the U.S. revises its deeply hostile policy course in relation to Russia, Ryabkov told the country's press.